A significant percentage of the population has strong authoritarian tendencies, which can and will emerge under the right conditions. One of the darkest realizations I've personally had over the past year and a half is that I now totally understand how the horrific events of the 20th century came to pass. Now, to be clear, I'm not equating lockdowns, mandates, and other pandemic restrictions and infringements upon our civil liberties with the genocidal regimes of the Nazis or various communist parties. But we have all seen glimpses of the same psychology and tactics at play. It struck me how many dormant authoritarians we have walking amongst us, within our governments, even on our television screens. When given an ounce of power or control over other human beings, many people will take advantage of that and relish in it. We've truly seen this come to light. And it's something that we always have to remain vigilant of if we're going to establish and maintain a free society and protect our own individual liberties. Society is always one emergency away from tyranny. Resist the urge to force other people to conform to your beliefs and your behaviors, and also be bold in the presence of those who do. It's also vital to understand that propaganda is just as effective in the modern day as it was 100 years ago, perhaps more so. Access to limitless information has not made the average person any wiser. I'm old enough to remember when we thought the problem was lack of access to information, and boy, were we wrong. With the rise of smartphones, tablets, and social media, it means that we are now more interconnected than ever. Every single day, we're bombarded with thousands upon thousands of messages, and brainwashing is still a very real thing. Now, nobody is totally immune to the effects of propaganda, but you can strengthen yourself against negative manipulation that plays on fear and division simply by being aware of its existence. Modern people are also very complacent and lack vigilance when it comes to defending our own freedoms from government overreach. I think over time, we've become far too comfortable, we've taken freedom for granted, and we've forgotten that every single generation has to fight for freedom again. Freedom is not the default position of humanity, it is the anomaly. With all that said, it's important you don't take your freedom for granted, no matter where you live. Understand that history is not something that's just in the past, it's something that is still occurring. Today, we live in tomorrow's history. And understand that everything that's happened in the past has the potential to happen again, simply in a different form.